What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Rusty Garage. In today's video we're going to work on the Bobcat 250. Uh, I've got a little hack that should help save your battery on these things. So this machine I bought a few years back and it's got 111.2 hours on it. Uh, it's been a good machine. It does sit quite a bit of the time. But um, some of my motorcycles and my lawnmower, something I do to preserve the batteries on those uh, throughout the winter time is hook up a trickle charger or a battery maintainer to them. And every spring, uh, the lawnmower, it'll, it'll fire right up, keeping that maintainer on it. Uh, this thing sits quite a bit, so we're going to get a battery maintainer hooked up in it with a quick connect so that should help things uh, when this thing's sitting I can just leave it plugged in so if you've ever messed with one of these bobcats then you'll know the battery is kind of a pain to get to if you have to replace it you got to pull this entire back cover off there's screws around the outside and on the back battery you can see it's located right down in there there's my hand so there's not much room you you have to take the back cover off to be able to replace the battery so what we're going to do today is get get a trickle charger hooked up let me show you so what we're going to use to maintain it this is the same thing I use on my lawnmowers and motorcycles it's a uh, Battery tender brand, 750 milliamp, uh, 12 volt charger. It's got a little plug on it. Uh, works real good. So what I found, I believe I found these on Amazon. Got a little jumper with a plug. You flip that open, plug your tender right into it. So I've already looked and about right in here, I can drill a hole and mount this. That comes with some little little sheet metal screws. So we got to drill. Figure out exactly what size we need right here and then the size for the four screws. And then on the battery side we've got this fused jumper. It'll plug right into this and then it's got some eye terminals ring terminals to hook up directly to the battery so that should help this machine uh, whenever I come to use it because a lot of times this thing will sit this is just uh, my little farm setup uh, I believe it was a 2010 cabin chassis frame and then I found a welding bed on Facebook Marketplace, got it picked up, got all my stuff hooked up on it, got my jacks, my gate hangers back there, bottles, grinders, uh, there's a hose reel at the back for the oxyacetylene. So anyways, this thing comes in real handy. Uh, I'm not done with it. It's still a work in progress. Um, but yeah, let's get this battery tender hooked up. So what we're going to need, besides this, we've got to figure out what size it is that's going to fit it. So that's going to be about a point, point eight. One eight, so eight hundred eighteen thousandths. So probably get my step drill bit since it's shorter, and we'll see which one's closest to that. It's probably gonna be a little over three quarters of an inch. Okay, so the the plug measures out eight hundred eighteen thousandths. I've just got a step bit here, and. 
put you out at 800,000, so there's 866 thousandths. That's going to be fine. That ain't that much extra play, so we need to drill all the way up to the big flat right there. Okay, so now that we know what size on the bit, We've got just a little area right down in here, probably about three inches worth because we're going to have to get below this uh, inlet shroud for the generator. So we'll end up, it's going to be somewhere right in here. I'm going to drill a hole and get this thing mounted. So I've got it about eyeballed of where I need to put it. About right there. That's gonna be below the shroud. That's about center. So let me go ahead and get a hole drilled right there. gonna work out just fine all right well next thing is gonna be getting this in and I'll get a, uh, a measurement or compare this to a drill bit so we can get those installed okay found a drill bit that should work with these screws uh, it was a 764 so Next, we need to go ahead and poke this thing in. And then, kind of get us a mark for one of the screws. Okay, it's all mounted. Everything fit pretty good. So now all I'm gonna do, there ain't much room to film, but I'm gonna pull the nut off on the positive and the negative and install these ring terminals and plug this end into this end so let me get that done real quick so you can get to the negative terminal from one side but you can't get to the positive positive you have to open the door on the other side and get to it from there so got the negative hooked up so far now we'll get the positive hooked up and this job pretty much be done okay they are hooked up Positive and negative. It's plugged in. So now all we gotta do is hook up our uh, triple charger. 
All right, trickle charger is plugged in. Let's get it plugged into the machine. Okay. It's plugged in now. It's solid red light. So here in another hour or two, that thing should turn green and should be done. Okay, well, I hope the uh, information helps somebody out there. Uh, the uh, battery maintainer trickle charger been hooked up to the battery. That that does help quite a bit. That's just some some good battery maintenance to do. Uh, but anyways, if you found any information beneficial or helpful, give the video a thumbs up. Uh, consider subscribing, share the video, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.